Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel for another LEGO build. Um, so this build is going to be, um, so the intro at least to this, is going to be a little bit on the sadder end. Um, yes, it's an exciting build for the channel, but it's actually happening um, a little bit randomly in terms of my schedule for a reason. Um, so this is the modular pet shop. It's really cool. It came out in 2011. Originally retailed for $150 and has 2,032 pieces. Um, I wanted to add this to the city because, of course, I'm a big pet guy. I love my animals and everything. Um, but it was not going to happen anytime soon. It was, like, on my short list for maybe 2024 into 2025. But that was probably the earliest I wanted to do this just because it's not my favorite of the group. Um, however, recently, if you've been, uh, if you've watched this channel before, if you've seen almost any of my LEGO builds, Arthur's name has made an appearance. He is our fuzzy gray cat. Um... We got him about a year ago. He was a big fan of trying to uh, beat up my tripod every time I did these videos or playing with the cords of that said tripod or crawling up on my desk while I do my builds or my recordings um, and very famously always destroyed something in my city. <laughs> every chance he got, he took something out. Um, a couple weeks ago, um, he passed very, very unexpectedly. And um, when we adopted him, you know, a while back, we, we knew when we adopted him, he had numerous health issues that we couldn't solve. Um, all we could really do was give him a happy home for as long as his, uh, his body could kind of handle everything. And, um, unfortunately, uh, he passed and it was very unexpected. Obviously, yeah, you adopt a pet with health issues you can't solve. You, you accept in the long run, like we're going to give him a happy home take care of him, take him to the vet, give him his medicine, everything that you can do um, for as long as you can, and you hope for the best, and unfortunately, um, very unexpectedly, he passed on a few days ago, and um, it's been hard, and after it happens, and you know, once the crying got settled, and once we got him taken care of, and um, you know, ready to move on and everything, I said to my girlfriend, I said, you know what? I'm going to do uh, some, like, in memoriam a little bit. Something that, you know, represents what he brought to our lives and what he brought to the channel as our little mascot and everything. So um, that's why I decided, you know what, the pet store, put it on a street corner that he always sat on and we can go from there. And, you know, it's been hard. You know, losing a pet's obviously never easy. Losing a pet very unexpectedly and out of the blue, it's very, very hard. So it's been a rough time, especially right before the holidays is when I'm at least shooting this video, so um, a couple weeks before Christmas this all happens. Obviously, I haven't started this yet, and it's going to take a while. I'm also not going to be hyperlapse building this, just, you know, it is going to be a sad build, obviously, once it's done and seeing it in the city. It'll be a nice reminder, and it'll be like a little piece of him's always here, but it is going to be tough. It's also from eBay, and the seller just kind of threw everything together, which happens sometimes, so it's going to be an absolute pain to sort through, so I'm not going to be hyperlapse building this or anything, so, um, yeah, uh, I'm sorry to start this episode on a dour note, of course. I don't obviously like to be uh, upset or anything for these videos, but um, you can honestly tell. I, I know I played it off as being sick my past couple of reviews. Um, very monotone, just haven't been into trying to, you know, get through it as best I can and get some work done and keep my mind off things. So, um, yeah, it's been tough and, um, yeah, it's, it's been rough. You know, it's weird not having like a partner or anything in here, but, um, you know, once we're ready, we are going to adopt another cat, of course. Um, it, it, you know, it'll brighten up our lives and everything like that. So yeah, sorry if uh, any videos are late or I missed some stuff with editing or anything. It's just been a lot lately. So I'm going to do the best we can here and we're going to start adding uh, Arthur's little memorial to the city and we're going to see how it takes, uh, how it all takes shape. This is also the start of probably either the end of the big city block back there or the start of the next one. So we'll see uh, how everything actually lines up. But uh, yeah, so I hope you all had a very happy holiday as you're watching this. And hope you all stayed safe, had a good time. Thank you very much for staying with me and all the support lately. Let's just start with the build, folks. All right, everybody, here's the final build overall. Quick disclaimer, there's a lot more pieces missing than the seller uh, originally let on. So you're going to see a lot throughout this build, like gaps, missing pieces, missing sections. I don't have the spare pieces for all of them, um, like this specifically, I don't have that exact blue, so I'm going to have to order some more pieces for that and actually fix it up. Up here, this piece is missing as well. This entire front fixture is missing, so 
um, some bones for the inside and outside, um, and about 20 to 30 other pieces that I actually had to, like, break out, break out of another set or out of my, uh, private collection and stuff like that, so, you know, it is what it is. I'll order some, but you can see, like, even up here, we're missing some pieces as well. Um, it's also very dusty. I didn't go through and clean every single piece, but, uh, yeah, unfortunately, just a little, little lackluster for a lot of that, uh, set overall. In terms of the minifigures, um, of course, you're going to have that very much older style of just the, uh, two black eyes and a, a smile. That's it. <laughs> this is a 12-year-old set at this point, so, or actually, as of saying this, it'll be 13 years old, because it'll be 2024 at the time of actually putting this out there, but of course, cool sweater and a bicycle. Then we have a child minifigure. I do like the, the purple to the white. I think that's pretty cool. She has a little hoodie on. I think that's definitely pretty neat. Nice braided hair. Little blue hood in the back. One really cool figure out of this set. We do have a painter and of course his paint roller right here too. Some suspenders or overalls. Pretty cool. And then last but not least, very cool figure here. I do really like the uh, the tree on the torso printing, and it's actually shiny as well, so I think that looks really nice, that red, black, and gold thing looks really, really cool. But as for the missing pieces, here, 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 so we have a lot. There's a lot of missing pieces to this. Um, again, I did the best I can trying to supplement them, but I'm going to have to just do a uh, for clink order or eBay something to just try and get some of those taken care of, but for now, I'm just going to go ahead and finish up this review and uh, add it to the city and go on from there but from the outside overall it is pretty cool I really do like these window pieces I think it looks incredibly nice once this is done the pets logo is a pain to build but it looks very very well done of course you can see through you see a couple of the parrots the uh, cashier uh, cashier's register in there and then I actually really do like this hallway right here you have a light and a small mailbox that opens so that's very very cool staircase leading up to that door of course uh, as well for the uh, second and third floors. Also, none of these had windows, so those are just open. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to enclose those as well. I almost forgot. I was looking at them. I'm like, oh, that's what's missing. Of course, lampposts and the usual modular setup here. Instead of being on a specific like base plate, of course, these are on the old green ones, just like the bookstore, which is going to be attached to this very shortly. I love the railings on the actual stairway. And the outside, I think that looks great. Love this window. And I really do like how unique this building is. Um, with the windows itself, up top especially. It looks very, very cool. Very different. Right here is supposed to be a cool piece. Doesn't exist in this set, unfortunately. And then over here, we do have a little bit of a boring setup, I would say. In the middle. I'm not a huge fan of this. Um, just nothing jumps out at me. Like, I'm looking at, you know, like, this second floor the bookstore, even like the smaller holiday creator sets, they're just a lot nicer than this. Um, it would be cool if I'd maybe switch these up at some point, do like little birds or something on it. I think that would look pretty nice. It will match kind of like this ledge here will match a little bit of the other modular sets, but, uh, just, I don't know. It's a little bit plain. And then right here, I added a doorbell just because it looked really boring with the old white knob. Um, cause there's a piece hanging off this, which you'll see in a little bit facing inward. I just think it looks nicer that way. And then, of course, nothing really too much on the side here. You can see this mailbox right up front. This also reminds me, I can't believe they haven't done a modular post office yet. I feel like that would be a really cool set. And then the back side of this city, however, is actually very nice looking. We have tons and tons of flowers. We have another rooftop garden as well, which is going to go well. Um, again, in this modular city, a lot of rooftop gardens. Some flowers here, tons of windows, back doors, of course. To both the shop and this apartment complex here or apartment building and then one really cool thing you don't see too much of is a little cellar here and i love that i think that looks awesome you don't see a lot of basements or anything from modular city of course um but i really do like this storm cellar i think that looks great a couple trash cans this piece is here just to keep it from wobbling a little bit while i rotate it and then a, a storage container back here uh full of trash and supplies um that unfortunately were also not included but yeah, overall, but that's what we're looking at for the outside. Um, overall, I mean, looks all right. I'm not a huge fan of this set. Um, obviously, again, I bought it for a sad reason, and it is one of the modular sets, so of course I did want it um, as part of the LEGO City eventually, but of course this set does show its age. Um, at the end of the day, that is what it is. 
Uh, you can't help. It's an older set. It's going to show it. So now let's take a look at all of the individual floors, guys. All right, here we have the ceilings in the first floor. As you can see, very dusty. I'm going to actually just really have to clean this off when I have time. But one piece I want to show off over here, that skylight looks awesome. Big fan of the skylight. I think it looks great. It's actually going to match the uh, museum pretty well. So I think that's an overall really nice look. As for this one, just pretty basic up top. Nothing too fancy. Same thing with the first floor here. There's not too much going on. Um, this is supposed to be like a couple just moving in, I think. So you have some moving boxes or it's just getting restored. You can actually see some of the pieces were also missing in here. So I'm going to have to find a couple one by one browns. I, I, I have some spares. I just couldn't find them and I didn't feel like honestly looking for an hour. So uh, <laughs> we'll do that on a later date. And then, of course, there is from the front side. Over here, we have a little bit more going on. You have a really nice railway and then an open section down here uh, to show off the actual bottom of the apartment. I think that's really cool. Bed frame, some really nice pieces on the wall as well. And then, of course, you've got that nice window view and some railing. Now, let's take a look at the second floor. One thing I also forgot to mention, anytime you have an older set like this, specifically ones that are going to be the color brown or darkish red, be very careful because brittle browns are a thing and there was more than one of these pieces in here, like my troll warship when I built it, that were unfortunately broken or shattered or chipped, so definitely be careful not to put too much pressure on when you're actually building them. Right in here, we have the second floor, a very cool staircase, you can see the outline of the flowers in the back, and then you have painter's equipment, you have a little paint uh, can of paint, one of the uh, like little paint trays, and then he's actually rolling some white paint onto the wall here. I think that's very cool. And again, that window from the outside looks awesome. Now, boring from the outside gives way to a pretty cool inside. So in here, we do have a fireplace, a little stove, an oven. I think that's like a little dishwasher table area. And then, of course, you have a door here. And then we rotate it. You have the clock and a staircase going up to the next level. So overall, definitely pretty nice uh, second floors for both of these sets here. I think they look pretty great. And then now we're going to move towards the final area and the ground floor, or I should say first floor. Right in here, we do have a staircase going to the top. It is a bit weird that they included one brown and one black, but it is what it is. And if you ever want a better view, you can also move that back, which is pretty cool. Then looking down inside, you do have two animal pens, one for a dog, which again, did not come in this set, unfortunately. A fish tank in the back, and a little cat area in the back, so that's perfect. And then up top, we of course have some toys, some food, some water, a couple parrots in the corner of that space. So overall, very nice. I definitely like the inside. There's the uh, light that I was saying about earlier. It rotates back and forth, but I really like that. And then, in terms of the actual apartment building, this is the only floor that's actually been, like, renovated. You have a small hat on the... Oops, sorry about that. You have a small hat on this little frame there. Some flowers to make it look nice. A couch. And a very cool staircase as well. You also have like a little trap door in there to reach the cellar. So I'm sure I can make a pretty cool little secret area for, for someone to be hiding in there. I think that's going to be pretty cool. But now that we have a look at here, here's the overall look at the current Lego City. I love it. It's really coming together. We have the Haunted District over here. We have the Holiday Village District. And then in the back is just all the big boy modular sets. Um, I'm not sure where this is going to go yet. I think the... Um, the holiday theme is going to stay just because that's what we're currently working on outside of here. But I think the Haunted District is going to go away for now. But that's going to do it for this build. Um, I'm going to have to rework the entire city and I'm going to do just a full update on that um, in the near future. So look out for that video. Um, thank you again for joining me. I'm sorry this was a very sad build. Um, but thank you all so much for being here. Helping out with the channel, taking care of me uh, the best everyone can. It's a, it's a sad time, but, you know, everyone gets through it the best they can. So thank you so much for all your support. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, check out the channel. Um, feel free to let me know of the next module building that you would like to see, and I'll see you next time. Happy holidays, happy building, and I'll see you next time, folks.